And now for something completely different. This time we're looking at an aerial platform fire truck. And it's a big one, it's the XCMG DG100, which has a working height of just over 100 meters. That's about 330 feet. Included in the model box is a small XCMG brochure, and also this pack of fireman figures, although this is not normally included with the model, you have to buy them separately. After that we have the traditional cutting of the factory ceiling, and then we can see that the model is protected by soft paper. And as a nice extra touch, there's a ribbon and bow, and that keeps the model together for shipping. If we remove that, we can then lift out the big fire truck. And there's also a bag of spreader plates, and a bag containing a couple of tools. There was one small issue on the review model, which was a broken off step. But fortunately, that's easy to fix with our old friend Sue Perglue. Let's now take a look at the fireman set, which is available separately. Both of these models are made by Yagao, but there's no maker's name or model numbers on the boxes. But never mind, we'll open this box up and see if we can set the fireman free. They are contained within a pair of plastic formers, and we can just separate those to give us access to the models. And with that, we can now pull out the fireman we like. For both the fire truck and the fireman, there's no assembly to do, because they are both complete out of the boxes. Starting underneath the fire truck, the detailing is fairly simple, and we can see that the drive shafts are all moulded as part of the casting. The steering is functional, and the tanks and other details are in plastic. This XEMG machine is based on a Mercedes Benz Actros chassis, and the cab detailing has very nice grills and lights. The mirrors seem to be plastic. The wheels are different on the driven axles, but the model doesn't have the larger rear wheels seen on the real truck. There are some nice small details including graphics and the various hose connectors. The top of the carrier deck has got some texturing and there's also a spare wheel. And the outrigger beams are metal. The telescopic sections are metal including the telescopic hoses. But to keep the weight down the working platform is plastic. Taking a look at the firemen there are six of them. So there's a variety of poses. Looking closely they all seem to be hand painted. And if you want to pick an argument with them, the man with the axe will come and sort you out. Also included are some other resin pieces, which are barriers and fire hydrants. One thing to note about these guys though is they are quite large. And head to toe they are nearly 4 centimeters, which scales at almost 2 meters. We'll start with a closer look underneath and there is link steering on the front axles and there's also sprung suspension on axle 2. But it seems there should also be some steering on axles 3 and 6, but that's not implemented on the model. So we need to drive quickly to put the fire out, but the model isn't the smoothest rolling one that you'll find and the front axles do tend to wander a bit and without any rear steering cornering is not the best. One nice feature that has been implemented is opening cab doors and a special pointer is included with the model to help you open them up. With the door open you can see some of the detail inside. So we've arrived and the fire is burning out of control so you better set up quickly. And as you'd expect from a big machine like this you need to set the outriggers up. They are two staged and have screw down feet and spreader plates are also included. There's a swing out seat which looks like it's there for ground control. And with the fire still burning merrily let's raise the boom. It's quite big and heavy but it lifts easily. And that's because the plastic rams are in fact lockable. So you can see there's a black grub screw at the top of the ram jacket. And a tool is included which allows you to tighten it up. You don't usually see this on plastic ram jackets but it seems to work well enough. Next we'll just sort out the work platform at the back as we didn't set it up right. And then we can get on and raise the top part of the boom. This is hinged and is controlled by hydraulic rams and they've got enough stiffness to hold any pose that you want to set. Still the fire rages out of control as we demonstrate that the whole platform turns. The firemen have turned up so at this point we can pose them on the model. 
And even in this partially elevated state, the model is looking large and impressive. And there's even a lonely fireman up in the work platform. One fireman has even brought along his own piece of hose. And although the connections aren't usable, a little piece of blue tack will soon sort that out. Whilst we're playing around, the fire still goes on burning. And it's time to get up to the maximum height. The metal telescopic sections all slide easily enough. And although they may not hold a pose partially extended, there is a locking clip which will lock the full extension. The control bus from the work platform is implemented by simple metal strips. And if you're wondering how long it takes to set up the real truck to fight a fire, well, to get to full extension, it takes 14 minutes. So fully extended, this is a very large model, so let's get the tape out and do a dim check. And from top to bottom, it's about 67 inches or 170 centimeters. And that's about 30 centimeters short of the true scale height. The fireman set is an interesting group of figures, although the colors of the clothing may limit where they look realistic. But they do go well with this XCMG fire truck. And although the detailing and functionality of it is not the best, it is a very impressive model when fully extended. Overall, both models are rated as good. <laughs>